I, we also saw something the other day that I really liked. I cried. And it's my beautiful octopus lover. What's it called? <laughs> oh, the <laughs> my octopus F teacher. Oh, my octopus teacher. My God, you see it? No. What's my that? Lord. I don't know if it Holy will hit moly. people a certain way or maybe the way. The way it hit me was like a dump truck. It hit me in ways I don't. And I she, didn't think was. And she um, was such a pop. fucking asshole about it. She's like, you know, you're just not, you're not the type to cry over stuff like this. You don't have. I didn't ability. think so. And I'm like, what? I'm a feeler, baby. Right. And I saw it mm -hmm. and it was very emotional. And I, and I vowed today publicly that I will never eat calamari or octopus again. Interesting. Never what, again. What you about cuttlefish? Yes. No, cuttlefish. I'll eat are, the fuck out of cuttlefish. It's just the same, babe. Cuttlefish <laughs> are just as intelligent and sentient. No, they're not. Fuck cuttlefish. Does it have a Netflix special? Yeah, they don't have a... What are your favorite animals of all time? To eat. No. Well, look, can we f talk about the thing and I'll get okay, into that? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what it's about. Yeah. I'll tell you what it's about. Some South African man, right? He has a midlife crisis. Okay. And I guess he's um, involved in... Um, he's a either a director or a videographer. He produces like... He's animals. a documentarian. Oh, whatever. And he does animals. Is that how you call it? Say it short. Yeah, he's a documentarian, and he 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 has a midlife crisis. It's the work is too overwhelming, so he decides just to fuck it all and take a break. So he moves back to the beach house that he grew up in with his family, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Something like close that. close to it. It's in South Africa. It's right on the, and he decides to um, swim every day, right in um, his little cove, in the tip of South Africa, in this the cove. And um, he starts documenting things with his cameras. And he doesn't do it with a scuba deer, de gear. He free anything. dives. He free dives. Oh, wow. Yeah. And one day he um, spots a, um, an octopus. And he goes back. And the, uh, obviously, the, at first, the octopus is like, what the fuck? I've never seen a white dude in my life. That what's he doing here? You know. So he builds this. He He's builds. Scared, yeah, you know he I mean? builds an obsession for this two hundred meter plot of underwater real estate, basically. Yeah, yeah. And so he builds an obsession, and he goes to this this same little cove every day for like three hundred fifty days. And then what happens is this octopus obviously is frightened by this. You know what I mean? Initially. Initially, and then they develop a friendship. What? Yeah, it's really sad. To the point where the octopus will, you know, throw out her, her tentacle arm and wrap it around his finger to say hello. Or the octopus she will... She follows him. She follows him. The octopus will come and land on his chest and greet him, hello. You know, it, it's so sad, you know? And um, there's so much drama. I don't want to get a, give it away. No spoiler. Oh, wow. It's very dramatic. But it's so well shot. It's so well... It's and if beautiful. You're, if you're just a lover of nature... Like even before the octopus story was introduced, the moment he described like um, being underwater, like flying, I was already crying. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those um, movies where you, I think, I, 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 there are some people you know that aren't animal people. Mm -hmm. Like for me, you know, when I look at my dogs or my cats in the eyes, right? There's a c definite connection I have. I know this is a comedy podcast, but I want to get real for a second, you know? And I literally love them, right, more than I love most humans. Like, I, I, there's, like, a spiritual connection that I have. You know, when I see any of my dog's eyes and we connect in that way, it fills me with such warmth and, and joy, and it, it gives me um, a reason to live, actually, you know? And it's like, I can understand how a man, you know what I mean, will go underwater, and bond and connect with another creature mm -hmm. in that way, especially an intelligent. They say that an octopus is as smart as a dog. As a primate. As a primate. Yeah. Right? So, um, you know, when you see, like, plankton, fuck them. You know what I mean? I'll I, eat the fuck. I'm like a blue whale. I'll eat thousands of them, right? But, you know, when it gets to a certain intellect, a mm -hmm. point of intellect, you know, in an animal, like a dolphin, something like that, right? Yeah. And you can connect and they recognize and all that stuff. I just think that you can't kill them. That's tricky, though, because mm. intellect is still defined by what we think intellect is. But, you know, something that's sentient and something so many things that aren't even animals have like a true intelligence to them, just like Some mushroom. like like mushrooms and mushrooms. stuff. Yeah. Well, then we'll let's stop eating mushrooms. I mean, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs>
You know what I mean? I'm gonna fucking I'm, fuck up a mushroom. He I'm, loves I'm, mushrooms, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like you know, there everything has its really like true. It, everything is so important. All living things. Yes. Are, uh, yeah. Yes. I, I I gotta eat sometime. <laughs> you know, I gotta eat something, right? He's hungry. Is soy something that's li living? <laughs> It's all you eat is tofu. I'm sure there are people who would argue. Yeah. That. So like if they you can make an argument with that, that you can make an argument with anything that we eat. Yeah, like sriracha. Yeah. Like sriracha. Like sriracha. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean is sriracha alive at one point? Maybe, <laughs> you know? Or Tabasco. You know? Yeah. Yeah, pepper. It's a pepper, right? Yeah. Peppers were alive from a plant, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't eat it. You can't you can eat it. You know? So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you gotta draw the line somewhere, sweetie. Right? And I draw the lines at fucking octopuses. That's why when you see stuff like, you know, the Yulin dog eating festival, it's an outrage, mm -hmm. you know, mm. just because. Um, and I never thought that I know it's so weird because I used to hate dogs and cats and all animals. You didn't hate them. You just didn't know. No, about I hated them. them. I honestly. In what way did you hate I'd have, them? Uh, like when my okay, friends. Well, don't don't talk about I don't know. The things you, you know. What do you mean? I thought you would talk about hurting one. No, no, it would never hurt one. But like that's hating to me. My friend, my, before.